you had told me that this is the last night of your tour. Of my the, East Coast tour. The East Coast tour, yeah. okay. How's the tour been? Well, let's see. I, I mean, I've been through the Midwest. I've been in um, Europe, um, California stuff. I've got more stuff to go. Festival's coming up in July. It's an endless tour. I mean, it's not like I kind of tour and then don't do anything for three years. You know, it's a constant process. So this week has been great. <laughs> you know, I actually get a couple of weeks off at home to do some writing and recording, um, take care of business. But then, you know, I'm going to Montreal for the festival, back to L.A. for a festival that I'm doing um, with, uh, with Tommy Emmanuel um, for the L.A. Guitar Festival on July 2nd. Um, then Vancouver Island Festival where I'm not only playing solo, I'm also um, going to be playing with uh, David Crosby and um, backing him up, along with Steve Holly from Wings, his playing drum. Wow, wow. I and had, then it keeps going, you know. I, I, I will tell you, it is, I even, I even saw on your website that you were going to be doing some work for a video game, correct? Oh, I did, yeah. I, I wrote, uh, there's a, a game called Diablo 3, and I wrote, um, I wrote a whole bunch of music for it. It's a very yeah. iconic game. Um, and it's this is the third incarnation. People have been waiting like ten years for this game. You know. And when you know the, you go to the the, the Blizz, BlizzCon, which is Blizzard and Entertainment, who do that, it's like fifteen thousand people. They sell out in twenty minutes. I mean, forget the Beatles stuff. This is like way <laughs> beyond that in terms of. <laughs> so, Lawrence, tell us on the tour, what can fans? What can fans expect to hear? They can hear some. I assume they're going to hear some Beatles music, right? Yeah, I mean, I play Beatles. I play a little bit of Wings. I play a bunch of my own stuff. There's some Hendrix. There's some great American songbook stuff because I do like Harold Arlen tunes. And, but it's a mixture, you know. And it's just me. I play, you know, I play solo and I keep them entertained. Tell a few stories, you know. And, and for the guitar players, I play in Dagat a lot. I play in CGDGAD standard tuning, missionary tune. I'm sure the uh, I'm sure the cats are gonna like that. What's up for you in the future? You have a birthday coming up in November. I always have a birthday coming up. Everybody it's does. It's a remarkable year. thing. Um, I also my eldest daughter Nico is getting married in November on my birthday, so it will be a special birthday. Um, uh, there's more of the same. I mean, I've got a live album in the can, which will be out later this year. I've got a um, a um, two other albums that I'm working on. One of them is going to get a little more, I think, a little more in the jazz direction. And uh, then an electric guitar project is being discussed, um, which I'm you know, kind of easing myself into. And then just a whole bunch of stuff. You never know what comes up. Sometimes a movie score will you know, poke its head or another video game or just stay, stay busy. And, and if I'm not doing anything else, I'm out you know, performing. Last year I did about 90 shows. I'm on track to do something similar this year. I think what I find amazing is that when you talk with artists of yourself, like yourself, there is no slowing down. You're just still moving strong. Well, Paul hasn't slowed down. I mean, he's actually doing more work now than, than he's done in years. You know, the last couple of years he's just really up, upped his game. It's, it's funny you said that because I actually interviewed John Anderson from Yes last week and he told me the same thing. He said he's busier now than he was before. He's doing the same festival that I'm playing at in, in Vancouver Island, British Columbia. Yeah, he's going to be there. Great, great. Well, listen, we really appreciate you taking a few minutes to stop by. I can hear the sound checking. Please, on this tour or any future tours, come out and check out Lawrence Jubre. It's really a treat, folks. You have to hear this in person. Lawrence, thank you so much. Pleasure. Enjoy it. Thank you. <laughs>